In the last half hour, we told you about three new suspected drug overdose deaths in the GTA today. And despite the alarming number of overdose deaths in the GTA, harm reduction and poverty activists say that the government is not doing enough to address the problem. You can't have two people a week dying on these streets. So what we're seeing right now around the opium deaths is kinetic to that. And we, we have silence from the mayor's office and the councillors about what are you going to do to address the pain and the suffering and the fact that people are self-medicating because they can't handle anymore. They're losing hope. Organizers met with Mayor John Tory yesterday to discuss the crisis. Today they placed a handful of flowers in a vase where a 27-year-old homeless Indigenous man died on the street as a result of an overdose. Advocates say his death could have been prevented and are recommending immediate government action. Some of their top demands include declaring a public health emergency, opening so-called safe spaces for drug use, providing free naloxone to frontline workers, building safe social housing and ending the de decriminalization of drug use. This is a crisis. This is systemic. This is peril, people living in peril. And we cannot, let, we cannot afford to let people die. Their lives have value. And in 2016, at least 2,458 people died in Canada from an opioid-related drug overdose.